Okay, let me invite um, our next guest to say hello to us. May I uh, take this uh, opportunity to invite our um, director, Madam uh, Ala Kimboya, to just, just acknowledge and say hello to these young people. They need to hear from you, your wise counsel. We hear it all the time. Karibu director. Director, nataka wimbo. Hebu mweke wimbo kidoga kikuja. DJ, wimbo ya director. Hello, hello, and all the people outside, can you hear me? Can I see you? Hi, it's great to be here today, and I'd really like to congratulate you on uh, your first anniversary. My history with KBC is a long history. I started off as an artist with KBC. Can you clap for me? I initiated several programs on KBC, which I'm sure some of you have never heard of. Did you ever hear of the Wasiwasi Detectives? <laughs> that was a precursor to Inspector Mwala, what is going on right now. And then there was something called On the Move, the first women magazine program in the country. I had the pleasure to have the first uh, color TV interview with the then president of Namibia, Sam Nyoma, on KBC. So KBC has got milestones all over. We also had a radio program called Get Connected. Did any of you hear of that? Where have you been? It ran for five years on KBC radio, English service. Every, you are not born, yeah? <laughs> Every Sunday for one hour, sponsored by UN. I initiated that. So when I see young people, you're so full of potential. I've been watching Y254 lately, and I can say you've got a long way to go. You're making good strides. And all I can say as your board director, I hope to interact with you. I hope one day to come on the set at the studios. And I wish you all the best. Thank you. Rachel, you're happy. Thank you, director. Let's appreciate director, please. Asante Sana Director, I told you she always has some very wise words. Eh? You heard them, see you. Okay, uh, may I proceed to invite uh, Mr. Gituku from GAA to kindly come and um, speak to us. I acknowledge the presence of Walter Mongare who just walked into the house. Karibu Walter. Ama niseme nyambane. Sawa, sawa. Karibu Mr. Gituku. Good evening. Unlike my colleague and friend, my story with KBC, other than watching, has been short, or is short. I sit in for my peers at the board, so I also represent him this evening. And um, as we say, as we celebrate with you the first anniversary of why 254? I have something for younger people. And I can see quite a number of them here. Beware of dream um, killers. Because what you have, more than many of us, 
who are beginning to make way for cast uh, ideas that do not move very far is imagination. And I'm glad that uh, the team behind this um, TV station found it fitting to encourage young people to imagine. Um, they used to leave someone uh, in olden days in Germany called Hans Bambliger. This gentleman was so innovative. He'd imagine things and he would put them together. He's known for having uh, tried to repair limbs. When people broke their limbs long time ago, usually you were just held by um, bouncers and someone would come with a saw and they would uh, dispose your, your, your leg, your hand and so on because treatment hadn't, or rather medical advances hadn't um, uh, come up with what we know today, with what we have today. So Hans Bablinger one time decided he would fly. He was lucky to identify a place in the Alps where as hot air um, rises, it would hold him back as he soared down. It became a spectacle. And many people encouraged those who visited his place to always showcase his ingenuity. One day, the king was coming around and the local bishop told him, you must be around so that you showcase your um, maneuvers. But the space where he used to do that was very small. So they shifted him and took him to a bigger place. But they didn't have the dynamics of knowing whether there was enough hot air there. So Hans Bablinger fell as he was showcasing his um, antiques and broke his legs. The following Sunday, the bishop preached in church and said, man was not created to fly. We're talking about 300 years ago. Today, the church where that sermon went on or took place is deserted. Nobody preaches there anymore. It's a piece, it's a museum piece. So people go there to see the marvel of the architecture and so on and so forth. Few remember there was once Hans Bamblinger, whose case was the subject of preaching by a bishop. How do people go to that particular church today from all over the world? They fly. Was man meant to fly? We wish why 254 all the best. Don't forget to imagine and do the things you imagine because there are many dream killers. Let them not affect the journey that you are taking into the next um, generation of young uh, TV, uh, whatever. Thank you very much and may God bless you. I'm told that protocol demands that I invite the representative of the CS, my boss and colleague, Mr. Jakaiti. Welcome. Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much, <clears throat> Mr. Gituku, the directors of KBC present, representatives of management, stakeholders invited, ladies and gentlemen. I do not have a formal speech this evening, but mine is to acknowledge and thank KBC for organizing this special event for the Y254 that has brought together stakeholders in commemorating this beautiful anniversary. We are here to give gratitude to Y254 for this 
auspicious occasion that we've seen the studio rise from inception to this stage and we acknowledge and appreciate the impact it has had on our youth in this country considering the fact that the youth play a very important role in the development of this nation. We, as a ministry, we are glad to say that we've partnered with Y254, KBC, and other broadcasting stations that help to educate, to entertain, and to educate, to entertain, and inform the public. So we are aware of the, the plans that KBC has had to modernize its equipment, stations, countrywide, so that its impact can be felt as the national broadcaster. The government has put in plenty of resources to improve the broadcasting facilities and will continue to support this institution so that its impact can be felt beyond. The studio machinani, which was started by the government, has been rolled out in a number of counties and it is the wish of the government that this will be rolled out in every county and if possible to every constituency in the republic that will be able to see the youth harness their talent, exploit and develop because there's a lot of talent out there which the youth have in this part of Africa, this what the youth have been able to do, but we know that through these programs, a lot of talent can be exploited and people can be able to see what the youth can uh, give in order to promote uh, the development of this country. We've seen in West Africa how the youth have been able to harness through the Bollywood, the Nollywood. And now the challenge remains on Kenya for the youth to get this talent into perspective that we should be able to see the those who are formerly employed and those who are not informal employment come so that we can be able to develop this country. So for today, we want to wish you success and to assure you of our support that will continue to give every available resources at our disposal in liaison with the national treasury so that these institutions should be able to develop for the benefit of our people. So with that, I want to stop there, but wish you well in these celebrations and in your endeavors. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Jakait, representative of the CS. We really thank you for honoring our invitation. Um, the same breath, I want to recognize the presence of the chair of the board of directors we just walked in, uh, Mr. Mboaya. Um, and uh, yes, he will come and um, welcome you all as he gives a vote of thanks. Uh, I'd also like to recognize the presence of uh, Maureen Mutahi, also from the presidency. Um, and I did not recognize Sally Washiko, 
from the office of the permanent secretary. And um, I just introduced uh, Mongare as Nyambane, but officially Walter Mongare is the deputy director, youth programs and liaison, cabinet affairs office, the presidency. So he really needs us to understand that. So let him come and give us a few comments before we invite our, direct, our chairman of the board of directors. Karibu Mongare. Before I say anything, I just want you to welcome me again so I can hear the energy of the young people in this room. <laughs> okay. MC Yoni Kaziako, can you come and do it the MC style? Eh? Uh, he, here is his card. Eh? Maybe I didn't do it very well. Yes. Aye, so. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. All right. Um, 